Hi everyone, it's Chris. Welcome to my dollhouse. And today is a tour through February. It's the 31st of January at the moment. Tomorrow is the 1st of February. And I would like to have a bit of a heads up about what's going to be happening in the first um, instance, you know. So the first week, the second week, the third week, the fourth week. So I have a bit of a heads up about how to prepare and how to plan and you know what's going to be happening what's around the corner so i have a cup of tea and a cupcake yes we have to share the cupcake sorry but it's a nice little cupcake and it's enough for all of us so i'm going to pour us a cup of tea and take a tour through february week one week two week three and the last week week four this is a collective reading for all of us. So, week one. What might be happening? And a few charms too. Let's have a look at week one, which starts tomorrow. Week one. Ooh, the keys. Finding so many keys lately. Finding so many keys. So, perhaps there's a door opening for some of us. Perhaps it's already open. We've already opened it, but we sort of just took a sneak in and shut it again. Maybe it's time to open the door fully and walk through it. Or, someone's going to open it for us and lead us towards it. Or, we find the right key finally and we know how to progress so let's have a look and see. Stay strong. Stay determined. Stay on top because the elk comes through here being aware of the surroundings. Hmm. It's going to take strength to walk through that door in the first week. But the opportunity is going to be worth it. I'm sensing here it's going to be worth it the first week. Oh, music comes through here. Harmony. Everything in harmony everything working together just seems to be everything is just flowing on the first week once you step through that door it seems like wow how did I know it wasn't here before I wasn't ready before that's why and um, but you're now ready so walk through that door everything's just going to progress quite nicely once that's done and the bear energy comes through here it could be something to do with a bank manager or your boss comes through here as well or that mama bear energy being protected being guided time to come out of hibernation walk through that door and start something brand new in the first week what could that be the doors opened and it's like wow i've been waiting for this moment i've been waiting for this chance and yeah everything just seems to flow but stay strong stay determined but everything's opening up finally everything falls into place and you have the star hope wishes everything's just working out beautifully and you've got one foot in one foot out so the universe is asking you to just take the plunge <laughs> take the plunge in week one because yeah you've tested the water it seems fine doesn't it and the star is there to guide you and to promise you um, hope and um, everything that a star can that the he hopes and the wishes are going to be fulfilled so plunge right in <laughs> it's not something you have to jump in the deep end but you've tested the water and it's time to take that plunge now uh, at the end of week one you've opened the door in the beginning you're stepping through in the middle and you're seeing what's on the other side at the end of the week so it's time then now to take that chance and the opportunity that's being presented to you beyond that door so let's have a look at week two what might be coming through for us what's 
coming through week two. Ooh. A man appears here. He has red hair. He may or may not have red hair in your life, but there's a man that's going to be very significant to you in week two. He's going to have some information. He's going to be someone you know. He's going to lead you in the right direction. You have contact with him. You may only need to see him on the bus, um, but he will have some information that's going to be really important. Um, he may have crossed over. He may be a family member that you have contact with uh, spiritually. Um, or you have a message from him that you just sense, but it's going to be an important connection with this man in week two. What might that be? He might be even be your dentist, um, or the man in the supermarket. Um, but someone important anyway. He may even be a teacher, or someone that taught you in school. Or you may be thinking about going back to school perhaps or learning something. This man might point you in the right direction. But someone that cherish the memories perhaps if he's in spirit. Cherish your connection with him if you know him well. Or perhaps he, someone you meet who you will grow to cherish. Depending on your circumstances. But he's going to help you step outside your comfort zone in a big way. But you choose to put on this shoe. So this is the choice that you're making to step outside your comfort zone in regards to this man. No sidestepping with him though. <laughs> Unless he's a cancer. <laughs> it's a water sign perhaps. But there's no sidestepping with him. You're either in or you're out. It's virtually what's coming through here. Mm, so what else is he up to what else can we say about him take what you need and leave the rest in all of these readings always try and suit them to your own circumstances and if it doesn't fit it doesn't fit you can't make it fit you can't fit a square peg in a round hole but that's okay Oh, the Two of Pentacles. There will be a decision in regards to him. Or he will ask you a series of questions. How do you fit in with what he's asking? Where does your life fit in with those questions? How does your life fit in with those questions? What do you need to jiggle and juggle to suit the circumstances that he brings up? Hmm. He might give you a choice. And you need to be able to um, work your answers into how you are at that particular moment he's asking them of you. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Let's have a look at week three. Let's see what else is coming through. Oh, secrets revealed. You'll hear some information that you really, really want. The answers to a question that you've asked. Or someone will reveal something to you that you've been wanting to know in the third week of February. Mm, interesting. It's not going to be gossip. It's going to be the truth. And it's something that you really need to hear, perhaps, or have been wanting to know um, for a while, that you've been questioning for a while. Um, or you might have to take the bulls by the horn and just ask. So if you wanted to know something in week um, three, take the initiative and ask, because you will be told the truth. And it's really going to be something that 
saves your sanity in in one way or saves a situation or saves a relationship saves a friendship or saves an op the opportunity that's been presented it's going to be really quite it's going to be very supportive and you'll want to know it and hmm the chicken the chicken usually scratches around in the in the farmyard doesn't it to to scratch around and bring things up so you might have to ask the right questions in the right order to scratch this may this may be this just scratching the surface but it's going to be worth it because things are going to be revealed things are going to be revealed and perhaps it might even lead you to some research which will highlight or um, expand on what you learn in week three so take the bull by the horns and if you have to ask the right questions in the right order because it's going to be something that's going to be it's going to feel like finally you've received the answers that you want and it's going to be satisfying but you might need to scratch around for some more information perhaps and do some research I don't know it's possible but what else could be coming through Let's have a look. The Three of Pentacles. Mind, body and soul. Everything's just going to fall into place once you learn this information. It feels as though the cycle has been completed and everything just falls into place and it's it's like it's been completed and you feel success and you feel as though you've just sort of come full circle perhaps but now you feel as though you yourself your soul mind body and soul has been satisfied so i think that's what the three of pentacles means in this time i don't think it's meant to be people but it could be it could be working with others um on the same sort of um plain on the same sort of interest but I think it's more to do with everything just falls into place for you and what you've worked on our mind body and soul comes together and finally makes sense after this information is revealed you feel as though yeah now I know and that's all I've ever wanted is just to know what you do with that information is totally up to you you may want to share it with somebody else there may be others involved, but I think it's mainly with you and your own deep need to know something. It's going to be finalised in week three. And then you head into week four. What could be happening for us in week four? Strategy. Hmm. Strategy. What are we all going to be working on, thinking about, planning? This is planning. It's not doing just yet. It's just working out the finer details. It's putting something out there perhaps and then working on how you're going to move forward with that in week four. Oh, interesting. The letter B comes through here, B. The owl, knowledge, wisdom, writing something down, putting it into a paper form, a formal form, contract, lease, agreement, um, even just writing down the plan so we all know, or everyone knows what your plans are and how you want to proceed, probably making something um, final, making something legal, putting yourself, um, what's that word? When you put yourself out there and you hold yourself accountable, but in written form, so something really needs to be um, finalised and done like that um, in week four. So there could be a contract coming through, it could be a lease, it could be a new home, a new job, um, something else like that, perhaps 
for some of us and it's going to bring about a time of peace and finally you feel as though everything is working out for you that February is going to finalise something that perhaps you've been working towards wanting to work that you've planned for you've made all the adjustments for now it's time to put it into writing to hold yourself accountable for something or to hold someone else accountable a legal binding contract perhaps um, something you put your signature to you could be starting a novel you could be starting a book of poems um, or you could just be writing a shopping list you never know, do you? Never know. Never quite know. And the Queen of Pentacles. It's certainly something that's going to um, bring about stability, bring about a form of satisfaction, of belonging, of financial dealings perhaps. Um, feeling as though you've finally found your place that you can call your own and you can be satisfied with the hard work that you've done the practical side of life comes through that with the Queen of Pentacles so I like that because it means um, that you're finally satisfied with something that's happening in your life at the end of February so bringing you into a new month of March so for new possibilities so it's going to be an interesting month, isn't it? Some of it will relate, some of it won't. And that's okay. That's what it is for the general readings. You take what you need and leave the rest. So overall, for the energy of the month, what can we consider the most um, energy? <laughs> this is like my fate card. And it's saying, you know, it's like the... Um, taking a chance on something I don't know the energy is a mixed bag next month um, for some of us and how it's going to pan out these things um, except for this one here the last month of February things seem to be you know you can go one way or the other um, things are not may not be finalized um, for some of us. Some of us it can be finalised and some of us are still making the plans for the next few months perhaps. So it's all depending on your circumstances and um, what you do with what you have next month. So be optimistic, keep an open mind, um, plunge make the plunge, take the plunge perhaps, um, ask the right questions of the right people and how to incorporate all of that information into your life and perhaps even complete yourself mind body and soul so we don't know do we but the door is opening the, the, definitely the door opens for everyone um, what you do with that what happens what's happened behind that door is all of a personal nature and take it as you are and as you will but so thank you very much everyone and until next time so many blessings